Christianity took the idea of sacrificing a live, a live something for the sins of humanity. And Judaism finds that anathema, and yet kaparot is that very thing, transferring the sins onto a chicken and sacrificing it. In the days leading up to Yom Kippur, the Jewish Day of Atonement, caged chickens are brought in the hundreds to ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods for the performance of the kaparot ritual. <laughs> וסובבים את זה מעל הראש שלה, שלוש פעמים, ואומרים אם זה חלפתי, זה כפרתי. Animal rights activists, as well as many observant Jews, speak against the ritual, objecting to the animal cruelty involved in the ceremony. The shechita itself, the killing of the animal, is not my issue so much, because slaughter is something that, when done properly, can be done in a way that really minimizes an animal's pain. Frank, who serves as the rabbi for the conservative synagogue in Jerusalem and is active in the animal rights organization Hakol Chai, says that there is an extra level of mistreatment with animals brought into communities crammed in small cages and sometimes left for days with no food or water. The rabbi also questions the religious value of the tradition. Judaism takes seriously the idea that we have to do the hard work, the painful emotional toil of finding out what we did wrong in the, in, the, in the past year and repairing it with people. Not, and if we give them an out of transferring our sins onto something else, well then it really is misleading people into thinking that they've actually done the real tshuva process. The Minister of Environmental Protection, Amir Peretz, is currently bombarded with angry phone calls from the Haredi community after recently calling for an end to the use of live chickens in Kaparot. I think that this is a thing that needs to be stopped. Because it is really a shame. There are also some actions that are in איש זה או אחר. אני חושב שבהחלט מדובר באקט שיש בו אולי סמל תרבותי מאוד עמוק, דתי, אבל יש תחליפים. אפשר בהחלט אה, לבצע את מנהג הכפרות אה, באופן שבו אתה תורם תרומה, אה, שהולכת בדרך כלל לאנשים עניים או לטובת בתי כנסת, בתי מדרש. אני חושב שזאת אה, פעולה הרבה יותר נכונה. Yoelish Kreuz, who operates a butchery which offers to slaughter the kaparot chickens, would suggest that people come earlier and in smaller groups so as to minimize the amount of caged chickens brought at a time, thus minimizing animal cruelty. I have to do it for Kois also stresses the importance of proper slaughtering of the kaparot. While some ultra-Orthodox communities cannot be dissuaded from performing the ceremony, Rabbi Frank would suggest at least keep it away from the public eye. This issue today is one that brings a desecration of Judaism in God's name more so than ever before, not because the practice is any different, but because people are more aware of it. This issue has now become one that's in the public's eye. And if there's a Jewish practice that's in the public eye that reduces people's respect for God and Torah and the Jewish people and Judaism, and it's not one that's mandated by Jewish law, which Kaparot isn't, it's something that needs to really go to the, to go to the side of history and, uh, and be reevaluated.